Hey guys, Pastor Brandon here with uh, the weekly update for First Baptist Church, Mount Shasta. It is August 2nd, 2018. Um, I have some things to, to talk about and, and to share with you today, uh, definitely regarding the car fire and disaster relief. Uh, through the Southern Baptist Convention, we have a disaster relief agency that is a very large uh, kind of rescue agency that goes in and helps uh, with, with cleanup, with um, food, with meals, with showers. Uh, they've been down on site in Reading on the car fire. Um, helping people in the, for the last week. One of the things they've asked is that we maybe mobilize some teams, some volunteers who would want to go down and help help owners uh, who have lost their homes with property recovery at their homes. You know, they kind of go through the rubble with, with an homeowner. They're trying to find those trinkets or those things, those mementos that maybe mean something to them that they lost uh, and just be there to minister alongside of them. So if you're looking for a way to serve and you have some flexibility in your schedule, uh, please call the First Baptist Church office. Let us know that you're available for that uh, or send us an email at the office. Um, we want to make sure you you get on a team and can, can be uh, put in action down there in Reading. That's a huge need right now for, for teams, volunteers, who would go down, work alongside of disaster relief, and, uh, and, and minister to the folks who have requested help uh, sorting through some of the rubble uh, at, at the loss of their home. So that's a huge way you can help. Another thing going on, because of the car fire, uh, a lot of people in this area, in South County, have been giving up their homes or their Airbnbs or their rentals to folks who need that from Reading. But it's caused kind of a trickle-down effect for some of the students at COS. Uh, we have football teams and soccer teams who are uh, players and students who are coming to the area right now, and, uh, and the housing that they had set up is no longer set up for many of them. So um, COS called, and they're looking for some help um, with, with home, home hosts or student hosts for uh, for the soccer team and for possibly some of the football team and it's, it's a temporary thing It could be a week or two weeks uh, COS is working diligently to find housing for these students uh, But those teams and some of those folks arrived yesterday So if you're up for it and you and your family or maybe you're single uh, man and, or, and, and want to help host someone uh, Please contact College of the Sisters and their athletic department um, We'll try to put some phone numbers in the in the comments below so you can call them directly You don't have to call the office about that but maybe you're willing to, to host some kids. Maybe you live in the weed area, you have a couple extra rooms uh, just temporarily for the next couple of weeks. So uh, I wanna let you know that is also a need because of the car fire, uh, we, we need housing for students. Uh, finally, more church related things going on. Uh, I wanna share, we are doing lake baptisms uh, at Lake Siskiyou on August 12th. It's a Sunday afternoon about 3 p.m. at the lake. Really excited about that. Uh, maybe you've been putting that off. Maybe you've, you've trusted Christ, you have faith in Christ. And you've been putting off following him in obedience and showing uh, how that inward change has affected you and showing the world publicly, displaying uh, that you love Jesus, that he's forgiven you. Uh, the symbolism is amazing. When you, you go into the water, it's like you're, you're in that grave. You're dying to yourself, right? And then you come out of the water rising to life, to newness uh, of life in Christ. Uh, great symbolism. Obviously, the water symbolizes the washing of sins as well. Uh, but just a great way to honor Jesus and to, to glorify him by by showing everybody that uh, he's forgiven you, that he's, he's your savior, uh, and, and you are not ashamed to say that. So if you're interested in getting baptized at the lake, at Lake Siskiyou on August 12th, please call me at the church office. I'd love to meet with you and, and uh, arrange that for that day. Okay. As always, if you have questions or comments, go ahead and comment on this, uh, this post. Uh, you can also email the church um, and like and share so everyone knows. We need, definitely need those shares so people can get signed up from our community for disaster relief and be mobilized to go down. So Thanks you guys so much. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.